Hello everyone, my name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. Have you ever been to a trade show or a presentation, maybe a virtual conference, and seen a feature demonstrated in Microsoft Teams that you thought was really cool? So you go back to your office and you go to implement that feature and it doesn't work. Don't worry, it's not you. The reason that you might not have that feature available is that Microsoft rolls out some of the features over time. Not every single client is going to have every single feature enabled right away from Microsoft. And there's also another little trick to getting some of the features before they're available for wide release that I'm going to show you about in this video. It's simple to do, it may or may not be available to you, but at least by watching this video, you'll know why a feature might not be working in your environment. Let's go have a look. I'm really excited because I just saw a demonstration of a brand new feature and I can't wait to try it out. It's a, it's a feature in meetings here. So I'm going to go into my meetings and I'm going to start up a new meeting. I'm pretty excited about this and I'm going to pop in here and the feature that I'm going to show you is how I can do presenter view in, in PowerPoint. And this is going to be just great. I've wanted to do this for a long time. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to share off and I'm going to browse for a PowerPoint here upload this PowerPoint from my computer and I'm all excited about this. So it's going to load up this PowerPoint. I'm going to try out this new feature. So here we go. It's opening the new feature. I'm going to present this out and it, hey, wait a second. It didn't work. I mean, I, I just, I just saw this new feature demonstrated and, and this isn't the presenter view at all. I, I don't have the slides down at the bottom here and I don't have uh, the ability to go in and uh, see my notes and oh man, I, I must be doing something wrong. Well, don't worry about it. You're not doing anything wrong whatsoever. When you see a lot of new features in Microsoft Teams, a lot of times you are seeing what are called preview features and not necessarily production features. So to find out whether you can see those features, if you click on your little icon here and you go down, there are a couple of things you need to know. First, you want to always make sure you're checking for updates to Teams. And when you run the update, it's going to actually go in and check for updates while you continue to work. And if you go in and you go to the About keyword here, you'll notice that you can see what version of Microsoft Teams you're working with. And then you'll notice down here you have Third Party Notice Desktop and Third Party Notice Web. And there's actually a couple of menu items missing here because I'm part of an organizational team and that team organization, the tenant, the, the sort of overreaching team configuration does not have me enrolled in the preview or the developer program. Let me just switch to another account. So I'm going to go into my account here and I'm going to sign out of this account and I'm going to sign into another account that I have. So I'm signing into this other account that I have. And we'll see a couple of different changes here. So first of all, I have a whole other set of teams, but if I go to my little profile up here, my picture up here, and I go into the about, notice here that I have the ability to go in and I can click on this little button here in the about saying public preview. And if I click that, I can now switch to the public preview. And when I switch to that public preview, I'll go in and log in. And when I log into this, you're going to see that now when I go up to my little profile picture, so we'll go up to my profile picture once again, and I go into the about, notice that this account has the public preview and actually the developer preview both checked. So now when I go into a meeting here, I'll go into a meeting. We'll just start up a generic meeting. Let's try the exact same thing. So I'll go into my share, I'll load up a little PowerPoint here, load it up from my computer, exact same PowerPoint, but this time something's gonna be different. This time when it opens up, it's going to open up that PowerPoint in presenter mode. So I'm going to get this new preview feature that isn't currently available in the production version of Microsoft Teams. And that's important. This is a great feature and I'll do a separate video on this presentation mode and why it's so cool. But I find that a lot of people will sort of ask me, hey, how come I can see you doing something? And then when I try to do it, I can't do it. 
So one of the things you'll always see is I'll do my very best to indicate in my videos whether I'm using a preview feature or whether I'm using an actual production feature. And I have the two accounts. I have one account that's just pure production and we don't utilize any preview features because they haven't been necessarily rolled out or tested or supported. We need a highly stable, stable environment. Even though these preview features are usually very good and they're, they're things that we like, that production environment, it's only production features. And this environment is my testing and development account. And this is a separate account that I have for this type of um, demonstration. So there you have it. It's not you. Now, you might be able to ask your IT department to change the settings on your tenant so that you can enroll in the preview program, but it really depends on your IT department and whether they're willing to allow you to do that or not. Some organizations are a little more flexible and they'll let you do that, probably at your own risk, and some organizations will not do that simply because they won't allow any features that aren't fully supported by Microsoft. Now, most of those preview features do get fully supported and rolled out by Microsoft into the standard clients at some point, but you might not want to wait and join that preview program. That's going to be a conversation between you and your IT department. You could show them this video so that they know what I'm talking about, but maybe don't show your IT department this video. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble with all the IT departments out there. Anyway, <laughs> now I'm scared. I've scared myself. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all those good things, and share with colleagues, maybe not your IT department, uh, if they, and there's some other videos you can watch as well. Thanks again for watching.